turn left into the next street and 200 yards onto Berners Road, then is your destination. Who was able to come down from my building, so every time somebody wanted to get down in that one and a half hour, they would have to get into somebody's house, then the engine would pass and then they would be able to come out. Now so turn left. Really, really difficult and one and a half hours of uh, you know, uh, sheer, uh, what do you call the lifting by humans was really difficult. Initially, the team kept things secret from the aviation community. They were worried about what the experts would say. In the beginning only, me and my team members had decided that we will not invite anybody, we will not inform anybody what we are doing. We are spending our own money, hard-earned money. We are not required to take anybody's opinion because it, most of 99% it is going to be the discouraging opinion. So let us not take the opinions from outside. And what about your parents, your family, were they, were they really supportive uh, or were there doubts? Uh, it's a joint family, we all stay together. And my mom, my dad, my brother, everybody was very supportive. But even though they, they were supportive, there were definitely doubts. My father, Mr. Shivaji Yadav, he... young boy had just really nobody would give me any money so I wanted to buy an engine and she said definitely I will give it to you and when I got the engine she gave me the money which was like I mean I could start working on it almost I came to know that we call it Mangal Sutra so that was mortgage and she gave me the money so that I could start working on the uh, research and development of it. To continue this project, which is very expensive, very capital intensive, as of today, my brother has mortgaged his house so that we can continue these experiments. So it has been very capital intensive. And as you asked me, is it difficult to arrange the money? Yes, it is very difficult to arrange the money. Captain Amon works as a pilot for a spice jet, a commercial airline these days, and he pours his own money into the project too. The roof has been their workshop for seven years now. The dream was that one day it would act as a prototype aircraft to kickstart a new era of aeronautical engineering in India. Then one day in 2016, Amol's brother started hearing about a huge manufacturing exhibition just outside of Mumbai. It was called... So there's not a great deal of trust with China at the moment about uh, how safe I would have been if initially, uh, by myself, I went and did that meeting. Now, uh, you were questioned, weren't you, by these officials. What did they want to know? Yeah, so eventually after a bit of uh, uh, to and fro between Australia and China uh, about this, um, there was very much a demand from the Chinese side that I submit to the interview. All right, fair enough. The route is being calculated. Safeguards, uh, and in the end, I agreed that yes, all right. I'll you about the Chung Lei case, uh, an Australian anchor for Chinese state media who was detained last month. Please proceed to the highlighted route. Investigation for national security offences, but I don't know. I know her, but not particularly well. It didn't really seem like I would be the most logical person to interrogate if you wanted evidence about her case. So they did ask me about that. I mean, you mentioned uh, Chung Lei. As you say, she's a respected business journalist, Australian citizen. It's all about what might happen to you. I was uh, 
um, for a couple of reasons. The first is that it Wi-Fi hotspot unavailable. Precedent. And even though I'm sure China in the coming days, the government will say, well, we didn't kick you out, we didn't detain you, that is all true. One does wonder if, if I were to stay there and continue working, um, if there would be more instances like this of, of harassment or whether this would have been the end of it. Bill Bertels of the ABC.